they have to win first off. There's not a lot of ways to make a lot of moves. So this is a flat white, and it is a milk-based latte, mm -hmm. and it's not too hot, so she can drink it right away. This is just coffee. You said room temperature. I was about to say room temperature. It's not room temperature. It's warm, but not too hot because she can't burn her tongue. <laughs> if you burn your tongue on a flat white, they've made it incorrectly. <laughs> this next one's going to be fun. This next one will be fun. Mm. That's Shark the, Week eating the barbell. I literally, yes. Um, yeah, this will be good for us. The gymnastics is not too much in volume, and the barbell is heavy enough, pretty moderately loaded for us, but heavy for a lot of people, um, where I think we can pull away on that, so. Shark Week. And I was just talking to Craig at the finish line of that event, event number six. There's not a lot of ways to make a lot of moves. So it's a difficult situation where they're a fantastic team that even if they get first, like they just did, there's not a lot of room in between, right? So what they need, unfortunately, is a lot of other teams to beat JSC, which is what hasn't happened yet. Um, if that's any indication, if they keep on that charge, that like amazing first place finish, I think they could do it. But again, they just could have. Here's the deal about these new sanctioned events. With two just dominant teams, it's great that they can beat JST. But now they can't get that sandwich in between to make that big points jump. But they got that first place, so they would have made up maybe, what, five, ten points. And uh, it's going to be very, very close going in with a few events left. So what do they need to do? They need to do exactly what they did in event number six. But they also need some other people to do better than they've been doing. So hopefully some of the Reykjavik teams, hopefully... Um, uh, the club actually like, did a fantastic first event. Maybe they can make a charge late on. But uh, yeah, this is the kind of situation you don't want to be in where you got to have other people do well to get in there and get points. But I got faith, man. They're doing fantastic. JST is hard to beat. Plus, they got a ringer in Sam Briggs. Pretty crazy.
was like, oh, we gotta pick it up. Our nine was so fast. We literally almost had them. Yeah. You guys almost had them. From, like, from nine to 15. Why the fuck were our bars moving? Like, they were like, yeah, it was moving. enough space. Yeah. Oh, so moving. I mean, we did what we could. Those first that there was a set where I like purposely got really close to you because I wanted to pick up the bar. Yeah. And then sell it and pull it back. Also too, like, they were like very borderline on their squat level. So I was like, that. I'm doing that too. He was like looking at me like that. So I was like, he can barely see. So I'm gonna go ask them. On the first overhead squat, and I tried to go back down, and both of my legs were locked here, and I couldn't bend them to go back down. Really did. So you know what? That no rep. Yeah, like that was that was that. Same as same as we came in, 18 points, and it, it really just depends on the final. It depends like, on how many that's, points that's, are in the final. That's how it mattered going into the, no matter whether we went one and one, yeah. we would have been 12 points out, so it wouldn't have mattered. Like this is just gonna be, it was, it's, hopefully it's winning in, we'll see what we get. Where are we going right now? We're going to try to find some scissors. I would assume medical has some. Try to cut the shirt because crop tank life. And Kelsey always wears crop tanks, so gotta match her. Yeah. Oh, I was wearing some pool. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, it's tough because when you have such a small field and every little point gap becomes even more difficult to overcome, what they really need to do is each one of those individuals has to perform on the events. They have to hope that GSD has some sort of like struggles. I mean, when is Sam Briggs going to struggle with the workout? So kind of hoping the other three members are going to struggle a little bit. And then people can pop in in between them so they can kind of make up some of those gaps that have been you know built up over the past couple of days. Well, they have to win, first off. Um, the way the points are situated with the game's style scoring, the biggest points discrepancy between 
placements is at the top. So with six points separating first through second, second through third, and after that it drops down to four points. So they need to win and then they need a couple of other teams to sandwich themselves in between uh, themselves and JST. It's this idea of, you know, each sanction event kind of has their own flavor to what it is they're trying to bring to the table and how they're testing athletes. And I think the part of the testing that is just more fluid than even what the individuals are going through is the team side, because what was happening at regionals and the games was pretty uniform. We knew kind of what to expect when it came to the teams. We knew that they'd be working with, you know, Worm, they'd be working with Synchro stuff. And so teams have been built historically to be really good at those things. And now that we're seeing events that are qualifying for the CrossFit Games with teams that don't necessarily have things like the Worm or all four people working on the floor at the same time, it doesn't really sort of gel with what the old school style of the, the games teams were. Even very successful games teams are having trouble qualifying out of the sanctionings because they're just not built for what is a more sort of like individual centric style of team testing. So they need some teams like Superhero Project, maybe even Mayhem Independence to have a really good workout um, and then drive JST down the leaderboard. Uh, if they do end up tying, then it goes to tiebreaker, but you don't ever want to have to go to that. So if you're looking at a fifth place finish for JST, they want to win it outright. So uh, they would need JST to, to struggle just a little bit in the relatively shallow field in terms of placement. Just about to hit my prime. 
All right, Sam. We need a photo. We, a photo. we need a photo, okay. and we yes. need to invite you out for beer. Because we don't underappreciate your fitness. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool. Oh, you have oh, a better phone. Do you want to take this photo? Take this photo. I've been taking There's photos so much of Sam all day. There's so much fitness in this photo. I can't handle it. <laughs> One, two, three. All perfect. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> you too.